you're watching Greater Brockton, you can tell it's fall because I'm back with a suit and a tie, no more polo shirt. At any rate, this is Mark Lindy, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton, Catherine McNichols from Signature Healthcare. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for coming in, and thanks for doing what we're going to talk about. Okay? I'm so excited for it. October 1st, so we're in September, so yes. we get a few plays out of this. Over at Signature, you guys are going to do free cervical and breast cancer screenings. And what it's being called is C, Test, and Treat. Correct. Okay, tell us about it. Tell us what you're trying to do. So this is our second year doing C-Test and Treat. We did our first one last May, and it was very successful. Um, as we all know here in the Brockton community, there is a shortage of, of screenings that are available to both men and women of all ages, um, ethnicities, et cetera. We have worked with the CAP Foundation, which is the College of American Pathologists, to secure a grant for this event. And by getting this grant, we're actually able to screen, to perform up to 50 screenings um, for women for cervical cancer and breast cancer screening. So those are the mammogra uh, mammogram and also a pap smear. Mm -hmm. There are several barriers that we see every day that affect women from getting their regular screenings. Those barriers include um, language, mm -hmm. childcare, transportation, financial obligations. They may have insurance, but they may have a, a large deductible that they have to pay before their mammogram is covered, or a large copay, or even just a small copay could be trying in times like this. Um, we're going to also offer transportation. If somebody doesn't drive, isn't on the bus route, we will have cab vouchers for them to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, women work during the week and they have their children on the weekend. School's obviously not in session on a Saturday. Sure. We will have child care available. Um, that is licensed by the state um, and activities for them to do as well, so that way they don't have to worry about anything. We've actually looked at, as from a, a woman's point of view, what are my own barriers, mm -hmm. my job, f you know, finance, financial, transportation, child care, and we've tried to overcome all of those. And language is a big one. Now, language one thing is a very, very big you one. You guys have always done very well. We, we have one of our volunteer producers here, former board member, who used to run interpreter services at, oh. at, at, at Signature, yes. Moses Rodriguez, he's yes. a city councilor. And he, a lot of people that uh, we knew that were involved in some of the shows we have here in languages other than English were on your staff as well. Great. A nice guy that I believe unfortunately passed away. I think he yes. might have even had cancer. But the trans all the obstacles you're talking about, even just getting away from your job, even if it's not the right. kids, when can you do it? We get, we, we get a, a working class blue collar community in Brockton Absolutely. where people work two and three jobs, juggle the families, they might even be going to school At for a night. better life. Absolutely. And the last thing you worry about is taking care of yourself. And, and you know, it's just um, last night in a different event, a woman said to me, you know, I always put myself last. I always put myself last. And I think a lot of women do that. They They want to be the typical quote unquote super mom and take care of the kids and the house and the family. And we always do come last, you know. Well, look at, we're in a presidential campaign. I'm not going to get into politics, oh, no, no, but no, no, someone no. said that uh, candidates don't have time to take time off the trail to take care of their health. And right. obviously we it caught up with, with one of the candidates. Absolutely. And uh, you, you got to take care of yourself or you can't take care of anybody well, else. Well, it's sort of like what they tell you when you're on the airplane. I just went on vacation with my family and I sat next to my two little ones that are three and four years old. And the stewardess came over and said, if the oxygen mask comes down, you put it on yourself first and then the children. Right. So you're no good to anybody unless you take care of yourself. Exactly. So. What's going to happen at this event? There's going to be, I'm looking at this, a mini right. health fair, goodie bags. Zumba. Okay. So the way that the day is going to go, um, we'll actually, I know I didn't mention, but we're offering this in several languages. We're mm -hmm. offering it in Portuguese, Spanish, English, and Haitian Creole. So we want to try to overcome any sort of obstacles or barriers that may present itself. So if you do, are you, if you do need a screening and you don't speak English, you don't have to worry about the fact that you're not going to understand what the doctor's telling you or what the nurse is telling you or where to go. There's going to be tons of people from interpreter services there. So we'll have that. Um, there will be a breakfast in the morning, mm -hmm. and there will also be a luncheon. And during the lunch, we're having a healthy cooking demonstration. And both of those are sponsored by Sodexo, which is the hospital's partner. Mm -hmm. 
We're also extremely lucky to be partnering with the YMCA. They are doing some Zumba for the women. We did it last year and I've never seen anything so amazing to see this, uh, this one woman, I still picture her. She came in, um, lang English was not her first language. She struggled to um, communicate with some of the staff uh, besides interpreter services. She had a cane. As soon as Zumba started with the cane and all, she was out there doing her thing. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Well, Zumba seems to kind of transform languages, even though it Dancing was originally music, from a culture. Oh, well, food, does. music, but medical doesn't discriminate. It, Absolutely, it, it doesn't matter who you are. Or, Absolutely, and, and some of it's luck of the draw. Some of it's hereditary. Some Absolutely. of it's diet. Some of it's physical location. There are certain communities that have higher incidence Absolutely. rates of cancer. You know, I'm watching on the news right now about um, what is it? The H HPV, HPV. And vaccine. And that's one of the reasons for this. When you when we do this test, this um, pap smear, we also test for HPV. Mm -hmm. And HPV does cause colon cancer, um, so, excuse me, cervical cancer. Right. It can also, um, if you practice unsafe sex, it can also cause um, tongue cancer, mm -hmm. throat cancer, tonsil cancer, anal cancer, mm -hmm. and other cancers, penile mm -hmm. cancers, etc. Right. So. The HPV vaccine is also very controversial right now. Some sure. people are for it, some people are against it. Um, at that stage as a parent that I'm making that decision as we speak mm -hmm. um, for my oldest. Um, and from all the research I've done, it's actually seems as though it's the right thing to do. It's not easy to be a parent. It's no. not easy to be a, a child even anymore. It's if you not think easy about that, to you got to wonder when yes. childhood starts and childhood ends and adulthood starts and right. you're having discussions with kids about things that you you know, I, I, I'm not unfortunately, ready. <laughs> back in the day, it was Cl Bill Clinton, and there was a discussion that I didn't want to have with my sons oh, yes. about, um, you know, about all of that. So this is all, you know, this this is preventative. It's it's kind of like Absolutely. I guess the way to think about this is um, e even if something bad has happened and you find out about it, the sooner you find out about something with cancer that's bad, the sooner the treatment can start, the more of a, uh, you know, a a more of a cure rate. rate or a success rate. Or, Absolutely. You know, we always say um, early detection, early detection. You know, we, we encourage everybody um, to go out and to, to do their, to encourage women, I should say, to do their um, self-breast exams, to have their physicals. And I'm not just talking about pap smears or, mm -hmm. you know, breast exams. I'm talking about your colonoscopies, your blood checkup, you want to make sure they don't develop diabetes or you know high blood pressure or any of that. You want to live the healthiest life as possible. That includes not smoking, you know, eating healthy, getting plenty of exercise, not over drinking, all of that stuff. It's hard to do. And this is a and this is a tough community. I mean, we we have, you know, this big melting pot here of different, you know, races and religions and, and practices. And one of the other things is we have started to go to churches and, and reach out to them. I was, I was just going to suggest that, but you yes. beat it to me. And, yes. and Moses would be one of the ones that advocates the most going to the churches. Yes. He always used to do that. Go to us where you can get us, and that's where we go. Yes. So I'm going to just wrap it because, believe sure. it or not, the nine minutes are up. Okay. So what we are looking at here is uh, Signature Healthcare um, is doing a seat test and treat free cancer screenings and community health education for cervical and breast cancer. Saturday, October 1st, um, the screenings go from 8 to 3. The health education is 11 to 1. There's a breakfast and a lunch. And uh, go there and you have all the services provided as well at the same time. Thanks for coming Thank on you so and much. promoting it. Thank you so Glad much. Glad to help. We'll follow Thank up you. with you. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.